Week 14 fantasy football player spotlights. Detroit allows the fifth most fantasy points per game to tight ends. Since TJ Hawkinson's move to Minnesota weeks 9 through 13 for the tight end position, he's ranked number two in targets, tied for number one in receptions, number four in receiving yards, number three in total fantasy points, a.k.a. that's good and it's a good matchup. The same matchup, Amon Ra St. Brown draws the second best wide receiver fantasy matchup in Minnesota. The Sun God has been on fire weeks 10 through 13. He's ranked for wide receivers, number four in targets, number one in receptions, number two in receiving yards, tied for number three in receiving touchdowns, and number two in total fantasy points. Garrett Wilson has scored over 24 fantasy points three times this season, once with Joe Flacco and twice in back-to-back -back games with Mike White. In these last two games, he's had 95 and 162 receiving yards. He scored two touchdowns week 12. Safe to say Mike White plus Garrett Wilson has been a good thing, and there is going to be an emphasis on this in Buffalo. Buffalo allows the 13th most fantasy points per game to wide receivers. Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott have been coexisting well for fantasy. 21.8, 36.9, 8.1, and 24.6 fantasy points the last four for Tony Pollard. Zeke has scored 16 plus in his last three games. Across the last four games, and Zeke only played in three of them, these guys have combined for nine total touchdowns. They play Houston, who is the best fantasy matchup for running backs. The Tennessee Titans have allowed the second most fantasy points per game to quarterbacks and most points per game to wide receivers. Across Trevor Lawrence's last three games, he scored 20.96, 24.94, and 16.36 fantasy points. Week 10, he threw for 259 and two touchdowns. Week 12, he threw 321 yards and three touchdowns. All eyes might be on Christian Kirk in a plus matchup, but Zay Jones, week 10, saw 10 targets and finished with 68 yards, 14.8 fantasy points. Week 11, they had the bye. Week 12, he finished with 145 receiving yards and 27.5 fantasy points. 14 targets in that game. Lawrence and Zay Jones have a pretty good connection. You just have to monitor both of them because they're currently listed as questionable. The 49ers are a tough matchup across the board except for the wide receiver position. They allow the 10th most fantasy points per game. Back-to-back -back weeks, Chris Godwin has had 13 targets on the dot, 29 and 14.3 fantasy points. He looks healthy. He's the wide receiver one. Kansas City allows the fifth most fantasy points per game to wide receivers. Jerry Judy returned last week, caught all four targets for 65 receiving yards. Sutton is likely out of the mix, but even when Sutton was healthy in Jerry Judy's last two full games, he scored well, 16-plus in both of those. Another guy you got to monitor, though. He's questionable. Then last, the Miami Dolphins ranked third in fantasy points per game allowed to tight ends. Five catches on six targets for 80 yards last week for Gerald Everett. Four weeks is a top seven option. Four weeks over 13 fantasy points and 60 receiving yards.